The verses have screaming, the choruses have singing. Our band is called From Noun to Noun or Verb the Noun. Let's go! What's up, Funnel Cakes, and welcome to another episode of Gorsenio's High School CD Booklet Review. The show where I review all the screamo I used to listen to in high school. Let's be honest, that's that's what the show's about. And today we're talking about, you guessed it, more screamo from Autumn to Ashes. This is the fiction we live. I don't remember how I found out about this album. I think I just saw their name while rifling through CDs at Tower Records and I went, my God, they've done it. They've taken the two most perfect early 2000s emo words and put them in the same band name. This, I also think, is the first episode of the show where we get to talk about that very specific type of scene band that was like, listen, our hairlines are not getting any thicker. We gotta start this band right now. We got Warp Tours to play. The verses have screaming, the choruses have singing. Our band is called From Noun to Noun or Verb the Noun. Let's go! And so, yeah, when it came to the From Noun to Noun band name, I was like, well, they've done it. That's the pin. what we've been all, all been trying to do this whole time. I don't really have an elaborate connection or story to this album. I bought it, I thought it was cool, my friends weren't really into it, and so it just sat in my CD case. Until now! And listening to this today, I thought the opening song was a fucking banger, and then everything else afterwards kinda just went downhill for me. Me losing interest in this has nothing to do with the talent of the band. They're all talented, everyone's good at their part of the job in the band. The record is actually mixed really well, which is rare for 2004. I just thought the songwriting was kind of boring and the track arrangement was whack. Track three is the ballad? Track three is never the ballad! Ballads are track seven forward. You know this. These rules are here for a reason. It keeps us from falling into chaos! A big thing for me on this album was I felt really bad for the Scream guy. His scream is fantastic. He sounds like a deeper Jeff from Poison the Well. I want to bring him up because I know he eventually leaves the band for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe it was a gross thing and then I shouldn't really be talking about him, but I didn't I didn't Google it. But yeah, there are songs that he's just not even on and he doesn't even play another instrument. The singing guy is also the drummer and he's taking whole songs for himself. <laughs> Track three is just the singing drummer, and all I could think was like, in a live show, what does the the scream guy just like stands to the side of the stage? Does he do the Dragon Force thing where he's just throwing beach balls into the audience and hyping them up? There are parts in this album where the drummer is screaming. Like you have a you hired a guy for that. He's here. He's on the he just screamed before you. That is the clearest example of like, dude, you have one job. And I guess they realized that because uh, they fired him. Sorry, Scream Guy, unless you're gross. Anyway, let's talk about this album art. This looks like a New England Ouija board. This looks like the secret for guys who still have tribal tattoos. This looks like a documentary about the Great Depression on Laserdisc. This looks like a letter Captain Jack Sparrow would send to his divorce attorney. This looks like something your grandmother would pull out of the attic and say, Oh, your grandfather was quite the pit boss when he was your age. He would crowd kill at any moment, even during the choruses. But yeah, in conclusion, it sounds fine. I'm not into it, but it sounds good. The drums are pretty loud. The drummer might be a little bit too much all over this album, but I guess he eventually becomes the singer and I, that's the right choice, I think. But yeah, that's the end of the episode. If you want to let me know what you thought of the album or tell me your favorite verb the noun band name, there's the comment section. Next week, we're doing Sam Hain. Oh! It's two minutes to late night.